Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh In this video, we are going to look at how the confidence interval can be constructed for one population proportion So, uh, remember that we have seen a p hat as the point estimate for the population proportion p here so provided that the sample is sufficiently large then the confidence interval for the population proportion is given by this formula here and now uh, if you want to write it in a compact form it will look like this so p hat here is the point estimate plus minus uh, the margin of error so you can see here that we have the same term on this right side with uh, this one over here so the term here is similar the difference is just in plus in minus and plus sign so we can um, uh, write it in a simple form so we advocate the plus minus sign and we write down z alpha over 2 so this is the z quantile which can be obtained from the standard normal distribution table and uh, this one is the standard error of the estimate which is p hat q hat over n so uh, remember that p hat is equal to x over n this is what you have already seen in the uh, video related to the point estimation and x here represents the number of successes and n is the sample size um, so q hat is um, 1 minus p hat okay all right um let's move on to the example of this uh, particular case okay a survey was conducted to estimate the number the number of households in Tanjo Mali with a personal computer so we can assume that this is the event of interest this is the event of interest so um, basically if you uh, consider or if you get the household that has a personal computer that will be considered as a success so success in this uh, uh, particular example is success success is uh, the situation where the household has a personal computer so that is considered as success now a sample of 300 households was surveyed so this is uh, our n or small n and it was found that 75 of the households had a personal computer so 75 here is the number of successes okay because it was found that 75 of the household had a personal computer so the number of success is given by x so this is 75 now find a 95 percent confidence interval for the population proportion of the households in Tanjung Malim that have a personal computer okay so um, so here we have this um, standard normal distribution so this is at point zero this one is the confidence level which is 95 percent so in between this point and this point uh, this point is z alpha over 2 and this one is negative z alpha over 2 so between these two points here the area under the curve is 0 0.95 which is um, this one here okay referring to this value here so therefore um, we know that alpha is 1 minus confidence level and alpha in this case is 0 0.05 and alpha needed to be divided with 2 in order to get the area on the uh, very end okay so this uh, left end and the right end 
So 0 0.05 divide, divided with 2, you will see that this area here is going to be equal to 0 0.025. Similarly, this one is also going to be 0 0.025. Okay, so um, using the standard normal distribution table, we should be able to get that the value of Z, 0 0.025 in this case, alpha over 2 is 0 0.025. So the value here is going to be equal to 1.96. So this is what you have to try on your own. So I believe you can find this value on the standard normal distribution table without so much difficulty, inshallah. Okay, um, so next is we are going to um, apply the formula, which is um, P hat plus minus. So this one is Z 0.025. Okay, according to this and uh, for this one is p hat q hat over n so p hat so p hat is equal to x over n x is 75 n is 100 so 75 over 100 is now uh, sorry n is 300 so 75 over 300 is 0 0.25 so here is 0 0.25 plus minus 1.96 well i'm just plugging in all the values so if p hat is 0 0.25 therefore q hat must be equal to 0 0.75 over 300 and if you plug in these values into your calculator you should be able to get that mu is going to be between these two values here which is 0 0.201 and 0 0.299 all right i think that's all for now thank you very much for watching